Finding a coach who embodies all that we value at William and Mary and also understands what it takes to win at the highest level was a tall order. It was important to find a coach who understands that excellence is not only a goal but a value, that winning the right way is what matters, that championships can be attained without compromising or jeopardizing academics, integrity, or sportsmanship, a coach that would build on the success of the coaches that came before while leading the program to a higher level of achievement. I am grateful to all of our previous coaches, but in particular to Tony Shaver, who led this program for 16 years with dignity and class. It is an honor and a pleasure to introduce the 31st head men's basketball coach of William & Mary, Dane Fisher. Uh, in terms of William and Mary basketball, I think it's important to, to look at three things. I think it's important to look at where we are now, where we want to go, and, and how we want to get there. Uh, when I think about where we are now, uh, the first th thought that I have are all of the people that have been here before us. The alumni, the coaches, the people on campus, the administrators, the supporters in this community. Uh, there are so many people that have helped lay the foundation for where we are today. Uh, and I think it's really important that we always remember that and honor that because the reality of it is none of us would be here today if it weren't for the people that came before us. This is a, this is a high profile sport and we have a lot of people that care about this and, and want to support us. Uh, but with that comes responsibility and we owe it to the people that, that support this program and care about it that we do our part to be entrenched in the fabric of this campus and in this community and that's something that we're going to strive to do every day. The third thing is, is our on-court performance. Um, this program is in a really good spot, and I want to take it to a great spot. How do we get there? Okay, how do we get to what we're talking about? Okay, number one is we've got to have great people. Uh, I spent yesterday meeting with these guys uh, for the first time, and then spent some time with them, with my family, uh, and I'm very convinced now, more than ever, that there are the right people in this program right now. And once we add a few more with, with staffing, we're gonna get the right people here. Uh, I think the second way we do it is through our culture. And I'm a big believer that you gotta fight for your culture every day. And your core values have to be present in every single thing you do, academics, socially, on the basketball court. And we will enforce and hold everybody accountable to those standards every single day. Uh, and then the last thing that we need is we need collective buy-in. And everybody's gotta be two feet in. And I will make a point to always talk about our program. And when I say our program, I don't mean the coaches and the players. I mean everybody. I mean the administration, I mean the people on campus, I mean the people in this community, our alumni, everybody that's a part of this. This, this is our program. And we all have to work together to achieve the goals that we want to. And I'm a big believer if we have the right people, the right culture, and buy-in from everyone, that there's no reason that this program is not going to hang a banner in here and go to its first NCAA tournament. 